Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are doing another creative how-to tutorial. We are going to be looking at how to use the team settings and inventory option in Fortnite Creative. If you definitely enjoy this video, smash that like button. Also, hit that subscribe button while you're there. It's completely free with the, with the notifications so you won't miss another upload like this. But yeah, I hope this helped. Also, leave any comments if you have any other questions about any other objects and creative I can, I can gladly help you guys without but yeah other than that let's get on with the video okay so for this item what you want to do is that you want to go to your creative inventory and then you want to go over to your device on the top <clears throat> then you want to scroll all the way down until you reach this one item right here it's called team settings inventory you place it down wherever you want it. I'll place it down right here. Now, what you would do is that you would open it, and this gives you all the options. Now, for the again, what I always do is that for the basic options, I won't do the basic options because I'll because all the basic options are in the all options, and they have more of a variety in the all options. So, team name. This is the, like this is like a team, like a name that you can give any team you want. Team. It's like if you want team one, team two, team three, team four, etc. Team color. This is if this is you if you have an HUD icon or like or like a scoreboard. This is what color that team would be. Default class identifier basically shows like tells it kind of like resets their team into like a default team if that makes sense. Grant items on respawn. This is like um if you respawn um these items will be thrown into your inventory and this is kind of like um this is kind of like a um uh a spawn an item spawner so we can just throw a combat shotgun and then we can just go over to two consumables we can just get ourselves some 500 wood if we go into our creative right here go here and then we drop all of our wood when we start the game That is in, our, that is in our inventory. Well, you can't see the wood because I have it as infinite mass, but you get the point. So, when it says grant items on respawn, if you do die and respawn, these is like this is the ability. So you have you, like, you can still have these items when you respawn. Right here, this is if like um if your inventory is empty, the items will be going to your inventory. But if it's always, that means the items can always go in your inventory. Uh, this on grant behavior. This is if you do respawn. This with this is what happens to your inventory. Either it clears your whole inventory, your mats, your ammo, everything, your guns. This is just clear items, like clear like your mats of that, or keep all. Basically, if you do respawn, you could have the ability to keep all your items. Okay, equip granted item basically means you are able to get this specific gun basically if it was the first item through in there second item third item fourth item fifth item those are like um like the items you are allowed to put in your inventory visible during games quite obvious if, if when you start the game it like, can you see it or not that's why you couldn't see it when I started the game because I put on to know grant ammo with weapons basically once you get once you get the weapons you you have like a normal amount of ammo like let's say I think in, in the AR comes with a 30 ammo I'm not too sure but this is um if you turn this to no, that combat shotgun will come with nothing. So if you, if you turn this to yes, it may have like the 7 shots it has, or the 13. Starting health. This, like, um, like, the, like this determines how much health a player has when they spawn. So like when they spawn, a player may only have 50 health or 1 health, or they may be even invincible, which I don't think is very useful, but... <laughs> max health, this is how much health, like this is the max health a person can have. And let's see how, how high this can go. 10,000 okay yeah that's a little pretty high starting shields same thing 100% shields with the and then same same thing over here as starting health max shields is you know the maximum shield uh, so for this item the movement multiplier I am not too sure what it does I've been testing and I do not know what it does it has 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 like I don't know what it means. So, like, if anyone in the comments do know what it means, like, can, like, 
Tell me because I have been looking and I do not know what it means. And why am I slowly walking away from this? No. Stop walking away from it. Oh my gosh. Okay, thank you. Okay. Instant reload. That basically explains itself. If you can, uh, like, instant reload. If you have it on, it's kind of like you don't have to reload because it just automatically happens. Infinite ammo. Explains itself. So you have, you can't run out of ammo. Infinite resources. You can't run out of resources. Eliminated players' items. This is if when you kill someone, either that they can drop, they can keep the items, the player that died, or those items are permanently deleted and they can't get them ever again. Eliminated players' resources. Same same thing for the items, but instead now it's resources. Fall damage on off. Sounds familiar, everyone. Hopefully. Gravity, this is if like gravity is like um it's kinda cool. Oh, uh, you won't see it now, but very low. It means like there's like there's not a lot of gravity and then if you have it to like very high, you can't even like jump, but very low you can go like all the way to the top. Jump fatigue, sounds familiar to everyone, hopefully. Player flight, this is if pe people are allowed to fly during air, which I will turn it on. Player names and locations, this is if um like if there's like four people on team one, four people on team two, like the four people in each team can only see their teammates' names, not 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 the other team's names. Always show this is if players can can see everyone's names or always hide. Basically, no one can see each other's names and it's all hidden. Show player health indicator. Basically, like you could, like your teammates could see your health, enemies could could see your health, anyone could see your health, or no one could can see your health. It's all like private. Display health for all players. Same thing if you're able to see your health. Glider redeploy sounds familiar. On and off. That's if you fall in that umbrella or your glider pops out so you won't take fall damage. Down but not out basically means when you die, it determines what team you go to depending on the size of the team. So if you go to default, on or off. Allow building. Everyone builds in Fortnite, so you can have all only traps only or no traps. Which I would choose no traps because traps are kind of kind of annoying. Respawn time. This is how much time you could take to respawn. My, why would you have 30 seconds? That's not smart. Don't do that. You just don't do that. This is only only allow respawning if spawn pads found. Sorry, I couldn't read it. <laughs> Only allow respawning if spawn pads are found. This is if um, don't override. Like if basically if spawn pads are found, you can you can spawn there. Respawn type individual or wave. Basically meaning that it's like the amount wave causes all. If you have it to the wave option, that means all your teammates are eliminated and they all respawn at the same time. Spawn limit is how much time you could respawn. After last spawn, go to basically if you spawn and then you die again, you go to this team or you can go to spectator. Max initial team size. This is if like how much people can be in your team at once. Initial team size ratio. This is how much um like like how much teams can there be? Beat best time to win. That's the, that's if you have like a timed uh, objective, you want to beat the time to win the game. Eliminations to end. This is how much eliminations you you have to physically get on your own for the game to end. Creature eliminations to end. Basically the same thing, but instead with those like monster or creature creature things. Objectives to end. This is if um if you have like those like objectives like if you ever played the hundred level default death run by Jay Duth, um at the end you have to collect the, like that that toilet paper and. That's one of the objectives, so you can have that, or you can have like um, all the way up to a thousand objectives, which I think that would take forever, and you would take, and you would be long, you you be you would be here longer than the four hours you're allowed to be here. Collect items to end. These are if, like amount of items you have to collect for the game to physically end by itself. Score to end. This is how much your score can be for the game to end. Spawn location. Spawn pads. Sky current location. Spawn pads are like. Or like, wait, no, what, where you spawn? Why did I just get out of that? I 
Okay. Spawn pads are like spawn pads, basically. You basically spawn on the pads. Sky is like when you like, it's kind of like jumping out of the battle bus, but instead it spawns you on the floor and it spawns you in the sky or a current location. So if I have it where I'm sitting right now, this is where I'll spawn for the rest of the time. Health grants on elimination. This is if you get a kill, and this is how much health you get for that kill. Wood grants on elimination. Basically, same thing, but instead wood, same thing with stone, same thing with metal, same thing with gold. Self damage on hit amount. Basically, if you hit something, this is how much damage you will receive back as yourself. Self damage only on non zero damage. This is if like if you shoot, like shoot something, or if you have something that that doesn't take any damage, you can still take damage of it. Self damage target filter. This is if um you can have it as non players will, will take damage, players only will take damage, or everyone will take da damage. Self damage weapon filter. Same thing. But instead, now it's only pickaxes, melee, ranged, and at all. Maximum building resources. This is the how much builds that are allowed to be in your inventory. Allow item drop. Yes. Yeah, basically, once you kill somebody, or you can go to your inventory and drop an item. This is if you're allowed to do it. Allow item pickup. Basically, when someone dies, you have the ability to pick up their items. Harvest multiplier. This is if, um, when you're harvesting and you got trees, some of that. This, this, that's not how much. Multiplier after you hit like that blue circle at least five times in a row. This, like this is how much multiplier you can get. Elimination score, this is how much score it takes. Like this is like when they get an elimination, this is like this is like their score they get for the elimination. Assist score, this is like um if your teammate help helps you with the kill, this this is like the score you get from the assist. Spawn immunity time. This is if when you spawn, you have some immunity, some like for like at least four seconds, so nothing can. Ooh, sorry. So nothing, nothing can hurt you. So if you have it to default, I mean, you have like five seconds of immunity until you go back to default. I like to have it as, um, as none, so you have a fair advantage. Maximum equipment slots. This, like for your inventory, this is how much slots can can hold guns. You have one, two, three, or four slots, and then um, yeah, makes sense for well for equipment. So like building stuff that. When on timeout, this is like um, the, like this basically sets the win condition when the, the time runs out. Like if someone has the most like score points but not enough to beat the game. Wood resource widget is visible. This is a this shows you how much um, resources wood you have. So if you have it as don't uh, if you have it as no, that means you won't see how much wood you have. Nor stone, metal, same thing. Gold, same thing. Allow friendly fire. Friendly fire is if if it's on yes, that means um, people cannot damage each other and they cannot hit each other. Oh. And round one, one receiving from this is an, another one of these channel things. Channels are kind of confusing, but I made a video on them. Watch it out, watch it out, watch it, and I'll explain everything here. But end round one, one receiving from basically when someone triggers channel one, that means this will end the game. When team is out of respawn, transmit on. Basically, when a team responds the certain amount of times and it can't respond anymore, it will transmit on channel two. Cause why not? One when enemy eliminated by team member, this is like when like the enemy is eliminated by the team member. It makes sense. Transmit on this channel. When team member eliminated, transmit on this channel. Basically, when one of your teammates die, that's the channel they'll transmit on. So yeah, that's basically this. That was a lot of talking. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment. I reply to every single comment. And yeah, that's the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe with the notifications on. Leave a like again. Please and thank you. I would really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.